Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about delitting uh, locked processors, which is not something that is typically done just because you can't overclock these chips. And usually uh, if you're running under normal circumstances, temperatures aren't really a problem with locked processors anyways. And of course we're talking about Intel chips, uh, specifically with Ivy Bridge and more recent. So your Haswell, uh, Skylake, KB Lake, and uh, Coffee Lake processors. So I recently acquired a pretty cheap Ivy Bridge system running an i5-3470 and under full load with just the stock thermal paste and of course the stock cooler that comes with these old uh, Dell Optiplexes, temperatures were actually pretty solid, reaching sort of in some cases the upper 70s after over a half an hour of stressing both the GPU, in this case a GTX 1050 Ti, as well as that i5-3470. But what I thought I would do is just uh, rip off the lid on that thing and put some uh, thermal grizzly uh, liquid metal on this thing and see what type of temperatures we could find. And of course, for that procedure, we're using a D-Lid tool. Now, this particular D-Lid tool was given to me, but they're not incredibly expensive, especially if you're a computer tinkerer that likes to do this type of thing. Uh, it may be worth your investment because this thing will handle Ivy Bridge, Haswell, Skylake, Coffee Lake, and uh, KB Lake. Now, although I definitely don't recommend necessarily D-Lidding your processor really ever if you can avoid it, there are definitely some uh, conditions that make it a beneficial practice, especially if you're comfortable with the procedure. It's not an overly dangerous one with the right equipment. If you have an unlocked processor, for instance, and you want to really push that overclock, delitting is a great way on Intel chips to get a lot of extra uh, thermal performance and thus possibly pushing your overclock a little bit higher. Or maybe you just don't want your chip running quite as hot as it currently is. Delitting is a great way to get some extra performance on the thermal side of things. Uh, for that purpose. Now moving back to those chips that are locked, things like the more recent uh, i5-8400, or in this case the i5-3470, there are still some valid reasons you may want to delid and uh, possibly put on some liquid metal or replace the TIM with something else. And that may be, maybe you have a really small chassis and you would like to get some better thermals out of it. This is a great way to do just that. Now for this particular processor that we're looking at today, after running about a 40 minute stress test on both the CPU as well as the GPU in the same closed chassis, we saw that without replacing any of the stock thermal paste or thermal interface material under the IHS, we were seeing temperatures in roughly the mid 70s. Whereas once we switched out those uh, the thermal paste both on top of the IHS and replaced the uh, thermal paste below the IHS with liquid metal, we saw temperatures in either the very high 60s or very low 70s, pretty much across the board, seeing something like a five to a six or seven degree improvement after an extended stress test like this. And while it's not a huge difference, in some cases, specifically chassis that may not have the greatest airflow or may just be pretty small computers, this actually may make a significant difference. But going back to the mid 70s temperatures that we were actually seeing before we replaced any thermal paste below or above the IHS actually illustrates why this isn't necessarily a great idea to do on processors that you're not pushing to the limits. This i5-3470 was actually doing just fine with the stock thermal paste and, and by the way this thermal paste is likely quite old considering that this was a secondhand system uh, just a surplus system that I bought for very cheap and it was pretty crusty and it was still doing just fine with that stock thermal paste and of course by delitting you are definitely risking damaging uh, your CPU and your equipment and you may have to replace it if you accidentally break something and that's always a risk you're gonna run and since you're not pushing these um, locked processors all that hard it's probably best that you don't do this unless you really do know what you're doing. Maybe you're just an enthusiast that likes to uh, push the boundaries a little bit. Maybe you like tinkering, in which case go for it, but otherwise probably save the D-Lid tools as well as the liquid metal for processors that are completely unlocked and you are trying to push to the overclocked max limits. Now that Dell Optiplex featuring the i5-3470 as well as the 1050Ti, I'm gonna be doing a fair few videos on it in the near future because it's a very budget system that actually gives you really solid gaming performance. So I very much look forward to testing that system out in the very near future. But if you like this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Have you delitted any of your past processors? What were they? And if you have, 
were you overclocking and tell us what type of overclock you were getting out of that D-Lid situation. And of course, if you're interested in a D-Lid tool similar to this one or possibly some liquid metal, I'll go ahead and leave some Amazon links down below where you can pick those products up. They are really, really great. Again, be very careful when you're doing this and just disclaimer, Hoosier Hardware is not responsible in any way for you destroying your own property with either of these products. So I guess I've sort of covered my basis there. If you want to follow me on Instagram or on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware and I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos for my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware and I'll see you guys in the next video.